Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out round five of the Virtual Drift Championship. Now for round five of VDC, we attend Manfield Raceway, which is based in New Zealand. Uh, very interesting. I think this is the first time we've actually competed this track as well. So a, a first again for Virtual Drift Championship. Uh, this track is super quick, super high speed. And uh, I think without further ado, I think we should have a quick look at this track load and see what we are to be expecting to do this coming Saturday. So let's hop into the game and uh, Let's get a few runs in, shall we? So, as per usual, we are in the Fortress of Championship uh, Prototype Academy S15. Uh, again, you guys have seen this car on the channel, so there's no point in going into much detail about it. Uh, but super quick, 1000 horsepower, and uh, yeah, can carry stupid amounts of angle. Uh, currently, right now in the Championship, guys, we are currently leading the Championship, so that's super exciting. Uh, we're 50 points clear of my Prototype Academy teammate, Reese Tatterson, who's also in the Prototype Academy S15. Between 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th, has shuffled quite a bit over the last few rounds. So I think without further ado, uh, let's get some laps on the track. Let's see what it's like and give you guys my first two thoughts on uh, on the layout. So like I said, this is the first time we attend Manfield in VDC. Uh, this track layout is based off the real life uh, D1NZ Manfield layout, uh, which I believe, funnily enough, is on actually the same uh, day as VDC, which is this coming Saturday. Uh, you can check out the live stream at half four GMT EM. So. Yeah, anyway, here we go. First lap. Gonna flick it in with fourth gear. Okay. A lot left for break on the outside corner there. A little bit of a handbrake drag to transition. I'm gonna try and perfect that so we don't have to handbrake there. Uh, transition out towards this two other clipping points. I'm completely lost with the numbers right now. Oh, dirt dropping. Damn. Okay, right. So initial first impressions. Uh, the track is super quick, obviously. Um, you know, we shouldn't really be handbraking on initiation. We should really be able to carry that momentum uh, with a flick, which is obviously um, definitely better in this layout, I feel like. Um, this start line initiation, I'm not really sure if I'm a fan of it, really. I've never been a fan of these rolling starts because it always feels like, you know, so can edge you from drag racing. Um, but that's up to, up to the chase driver to make sure that they're doing what they need to do to be able to keep up. Do we flick it in again? Into the inner clipping points. Four, I think, or clip two, or clip three. This is clip four. Out to five. Transition into six. Very easy to run wide there, actually. The track is not really that special, honestly. It's, you know, it, it, there's nothing uh, nuts, I should really say. Um, I think for tandem it's going to be difficult, just like on Londrina. Londrina, the battle was kind of won or lost from the initiation point up to that first wall, the Brazilian track layout that we were at for round, uh, round four. No, for round, no, this is round four. No, yeah, for round four. So for this track, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, where the battle is going to be won or lost, really. So, um, yeah, the start line initiation, not really sure if I'm a fan of it, but I mean, it's the best that they can do, really. Uh, so, accelerate from the line. We're going to flick initiate in again. Oh, they're dropping a tiny bit. Nice and wide there, that's pretty good, though. I think that's the line to take. I don't know, should we boat wide towards the curb here or not? We'll have to wait till they release the drawing of the track load. Oh, they're dropping into the dirt again. Into the inner clipping points. The cross line, not too bad, to be honest. Like, I think this track layout again, like at the uh, previous round of Brazil, it's all going to be down to the lead line. Uh, if the lead does a stellar lead or a really good lead run, it's going to really make the chase driver look like a god. Um, and that's generally the case in sim comps nowadays. You know, you really need to be on point with the lead run. Uh, if you're not, well, like, you know, you're probably not going to even qualify, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what is expected nowadays. So we'll do one more run. And then we'll head to the multiplayer session to do a few tandems. We're dropping again. I don't really like that transition there. I'm, I'm like handbraking just after the transition and then powering again. Um, it's a weird transition for me. I need to work on that really. So we're in the multiplayer session right now. We'll try and do a few runs, chase runs if we possibly can. 
Um, let's see who, who will we chase here. We'll chase, or okay, we won't be chasing someone. They're just gonna take over, even though I was there in front of them. So we'll just chase these guys in. I don't really like being the third car in training competition stuff. I think it's pointless, honestly. If you're going to like practice chase runs, you might as well practice an actual chase run instead of just being a third car because you're not really going to learn anything or gain anything from being a third car in a drift train uh, in a competition server anyway, or if you're practicing for a competition at least. I messed up my foot placement! There we go. We are chasing in my teammate, Reese Tatterson. Oh, he's going fast in there, isn't he? Good leader from Reese. That's very good. We had a decent chase, but like I said, you know, it's kind of hard, like, I could trust Reese, and I know he's going to do the right thing, but it's like, thinking ahead is obviously, thinking ahead is super difficult, and knowing when to attack and when not to attack, and this track, uh, yeah, it's a tricky one for that, for sure. So we have to be careful about all of that, I would say. So we'll give Reese a quick lead run. I know, tricky, tricky, super, super tricky. All right, guys, that's gonna end it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down in the comment section below what do you think of this track layout. Are you excited for it? Do you like the look of it? I'm keen to hear what you guys think. As always, um, yeah, we'll see you guys on Saturday starting at 4.30 p.m. GMT on the Virtual Championship uh, socials. So if you wanna see the event live, you can check it out there. We will be back again next week, uh, practicing first of all as Drift Masters again, as um, yeah, there was a bit of a postponement there uh, for the last round. So, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Cheers and goodbye.